Do you get that like laureate? Did I get a what? The fatty, the fatty trinket off the fish. Uh, so I've got like a, a little baby one. Oh, yeah. dude, dude, you gotta get the fatty one. But you I got the fatty, uh, I got a fatty trinket. It's like four fifty-five. It's not, it's not socket, but the one where you channel it, you charge up. That's moderate. Come on, God. I like that thing here. I actually, I actually really, like it too. Yeah, I actually really like it. <laughs> I've met up with you know a few of them before, but. For a lot of the guys, it's the first time ever. Yeah. And it is really cool to just have everyone in one place. Uh, especially, like, my favorite parts right now are whenever we all take a break and go, like, eat. Yeah. Or, like, yeah. walk back to the hotel, right? Because that's, like, a new experience. Yeah. Right? You can't get that in game, so. Has anybody, like, surprised you in, in, in real life? You're just like, whoa, that is not what I expected. Uh, okay, yeah. So, THD acts like he's a really weird guy online. Like, he, he puts on this show, right? He's, like... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm the Twitch guy, you know, everything that says the Twitch meme, yeah. that's, that's him, right? And he does Smiley it for face. like, yeah, he does it for like shock value. Like he wants you to be like, oh, you're weird. Yeah. Uh, but he's a normal dude and he can't hide it. He yeah. can't hide it. You can't trick me, THD. I know that you're a normal guy. Quit trying to pretend like you're weird. All right, we all know the truth. We've met you in real life. You can't hide from us. Dude, it's so funny because like, I, I just, maybe even you, it was just like a bunch of people were just like, Dude, THD, what the heck, man? I actually like really like you in real life. <laughs> yeah. like, you were just saying that nonstop, too. Oh man, yeah, no, he's a he's a lovable dude. Yeah, I mean, he's it's, like the best way to describe. He's a great guy, and he yeah, he, he tries to you know he tries to pull a fast one on you, make you think that he's weird, but he's not. Yeah, you know? yeah he's a, he's, a, he's a fake Twitch troll. He's yeah. not actually a troll IRL. Yep, calling you out, man. Do you think the raid is going to be close? Do you think the race is going to be close? Or do you think somebody's going to come out and just absolutely crap on everybody? I really don't think it's going to be a situation where one guild just shoots ahead too far. At least I hope not. It's not good for anyone, right? Like the players, it's not good for the people watching. It's good to have a competition that's really close. So that's what I'm hoping on. What's interesting this tier is that a lot of the guilds are taking a completely different approach. Right, you've got people who are stacking Shaman. You've got people who are stacking Hunters and Mages. You've got people who are stacking Warlocks and Druids. Right, so everyone kind of has their own interpretation of what's going to be good. And uh, the important thing is to be flexible and be able to swing whatever you need to swing. And I think that we have absolutely done the work. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really just uh, the people who do the comps and like Max, who's kind of like dictating what people are going to play, yeah. right? But uh, uh, guys like Kingfly and Max, I think that they've done a really good job of kind of keeping uh, our options open. Yeah. And I think that no matter what ends up being insane, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we actually got to talk about everything. And it's really cool to see that Limit came together from you guys just all playing together. When you guys put Limit together, mm -hmm. was the goal to get world first or was it, I like playing with these people, I wanna play with these people? Yeah, so the goal was definitely to just be a guild that raids very little and owns. That's it. Like we had no aspirations for any sort of world rankings. I think that we were shooting for like world 25th. Yeah, yeah. Right, like that was our stated goal was, okay, we're gonna raid like two nights a week. Cause, cause here's the thing, right? Like we had conversations between, you know, all these people in all these different guilds. Like there were people in Blood Legion, Midwinter, yeah. uh, you know, all the big guilds at the time. Duality is where Max and I are from. Uh, and, and basically we were all talking to each other and we're like, hey, our guilds kinda, Ew. They're, they're all right, but like, what if we took all the best players and put them in one guild? Yeah. Then we could clear all of the raid in like two nights. Yep. And like, get World 25th, you know? Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. So that's what we did, right? And then we realized, oh, wait, maybe we could like actually compete. Yeah. What if we actually like try it, right? So um, not to say that guilds that don't raid as much aren't trying, but I mean, there's definitely like uh, a big difference between just saying, yeah, we're gonna raid like two two nights a week during progression uh, versus like we're gonna raid all of progression. This is one of the ones where it is really interesting to see how these folks are going to be gearing. It's today to jump into the race and uh, definitely wanna get you back in your seat so you can prepare for it. Thanks for chatting with me, man. Yeah, man, it's been yeah. fun. Uh, one last thing though, nerf Mimic gear, please. Just nerf it. There's no reason why gear that's just from the world should be better than raid gear. That just doesn't make sense. Why am I not replacing my boots with you know, 455 socket boots. Why, why do I keep these 425, 420 boots? Like, what is, what's going on? While we have Blizzard's attention, I would also like to say,
Empty Flame One was so fun. Um, 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 um.